Hi, I'm Rochelle, and I'm at Blessed Archbishop Romero in 12 Division for the Sweet Life Roadshow. So this is the Sweet Life Roadshow Teens uh, Drive for Life, and uh, it's a program that is in uh, schools all across Ontario that they put together. It's a cooperative effort between the CEA and obviously the Sweet Life Roadshow. And what we're doing is just giving uh, some safety messaging on all types of driving behaviors, whether or not that's impaired driving, drug impaired driving, distracted driving, fatigued driving, how to be a good passenger, how to drive around large vehicles. We talk about being seat belted in and having an airbag in front of you, and we have a demonstration there as well that demonstrates what it looks like if a vehicle rolls over and something insecure uh, comes flying out. So I think it's just a good opportunity to engage with the students and give them a little bit of a learning lesson so they realize the consequences of maybe poor decisions, bad driving, could be a lot more than just a traffic ticket. We connected on Twitter with Officer Peter from Toronto uh, Police Services. And you can see some of the stations around us here. This event, we take the students, um, we prefer grade 10 or grade 11. We take the student group and divide them into 10 teams. And then we have 10 stations, three of them outside here. And then we have seven more indoors. And each one focuses on a risky driving behavior. And we highlight what the risk is and then show them strategies to uh, keep themselves safe. They began messaging me about the program. Um, I put it forward to some of my schools and uh, Bless Our Christian Romero is happy to take it on. Each stage here engages them, so it gets them on a different level. It's interactive, so they see it in front of them instead of just a video that they've seen a million times on YouTube. I learned today about like, the trucks, for example. It's really hard for them to see cars that are next to them. So it's really good if you don't drive next to them. The thing I learned is that if you have a lot of people to take somewhere, it's better to make a second trip or a number of trips to take that person there instead of trying to fit all those people into the car at once and make one trip. Thanks for watching another episode of How We Do at TPS.